Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well. And here it is session second for learning Java script. In previous session, we have learned about this code that uh, this is very basic syntax of Java script. And you can include this script in head portion of the HTML page, or you can also put it in the body portion of the HTML code, right? Just like this. Uh, we have already been executed this code. However, I am also going to execute it and going to tell you line by line explanation of this code. So here it is a title code of HTML. So if you are going to write something on the title bar, it is going to show on the top of the title for the particular tab. And thereafter, inside the body, we have written this much part. So we are using this as a comment. This portion is called as a comment. This is not going to be read by. This is not going to be read by compiler. This is only for the understanding of developer. Java script code can be embedded inside head section or body section. So we can embed it either inside body or either inside uh, head or either inside body. So similarly, script tag is this document dot write is going to display it is going to display this content on the browser so what we can do uh, let me try to just uh, go to the visual code studio the same code here it is and uh, we are going to run it so you can see the live output on the browser and you can see that welcome to javascript lecture by professor rahul jain and the same we have written right so this is the thing I hope that the basic understanding of uh, putting the script tag inside body or you can cut from here and you can also put in the head section and now you can run. So again, you are going to see that the output is same. So you can put the script tag anywhere between the uh, HTML pages, right? Okay. Now the next topic is uh, Java script display possibilities. So basically Java script can display data in different, different ways. And if we want to write the content into HTML element, if we want to write inside HTML element, we need to use inner HTML. How we are going to use, I am going to tell you one by one, line by line, don't worry about it. Here, just know that these are the properties and how these are the methods and these methods we have to use inside our Java scripting. So inside HTML, use inner HTML. If we want to write into the HTML output, use document.write. If we want to write into alert box, we will use window.alert. And if we want to write into browser console, we will use console.log. Correct? So one by one, we are going to execute it. So you can see Java script HTML method with the help of which we are going to execute this particular possibilities of Java script, right? So one first one is get element by ID. So this method returns a reference to element with a specific ID. So let's say I want to call a particular reference of element, then I have to use ID. First, I have to assign ID to that. First, I am going to assign ID to that and I am thereafter going to call that particular ID so that that particular task will be done, right? How it is going to be done? Just see here. For example, a simple program it is in heading two part, it is written Java scripting body and this paragraph, this tag is paragraph tag, right? You all know it. This tag is paragraph tag. Inside this, I am using ID. I have assigned ID as a demo. The name of ID is demo. And this is Java script code. This is Java script code where what we have written dot get element by ID. This is the same get element by ID. This is Java script HTML method we are using. Why we are using? Because to manipulate the content of HTML, to manipulate the content of HTML page, we need to use, we need to use JavaScript 
एच टी एम एल मेथड राइट सो टू मेनुपलेट द कंटेंट ऑफ एच टी एम एल पेज वी नीड टू यूज जावा स्क्रिप्ट एच टी एम एल मेथड वॉट मेथड इट इज दिस मेथड इट इज गेट एलिमेंट बाय आई डी राइट देर आफ्टर डेमो दिस इज द आई डी एंड देन इनर एच टी एम एल सो वॉट इनर एच टी एम एल इज यूज फॉर for writing into an element right and then what we are writing hello java is script a very simple program right so you can see uh, you can see that when you are going to run the second program java script in body document get element by id so this id will be treated as a demo id inside this paragraph and when you are going to run this you are going to see java script in body this is going to be shown as a paragraph heading to heading to heading to in heading to and there after in paragraph we are using this particular my first java script and we are using id here demo we are calling this id using document dot which method get element by id method and this is the id name dot inner html means we are reading this particular internal html part and we are putting it in the paragraph this is the out my first java script this is a paragraph and in this paragraph we have put this java script id using this we have just displayed this right so i hope this is clear correct now the third one is if you are going to see java script can change the html content right java script can change html content how it can change the html content you can see heading to is what can java script do so we are going to see this as a heading part as a heading we are going to see this and inside the paragraph we are using id demo and java script can change html content so this is about paragraph this is our paragraph this is our heading now we are using button here which text it is button text type is button on click it means that when we are going to click on that particular button document dot get element by id it is again a method it is again a java script html method so when i am going to click on this particular button this id will be called which id demo id will be called it means that this content this content is going to menu dot inner html means we are going to changing the internal content of html part here yes. and this content will change with the new content hello java script when we are going to click on click me button just visualize this just visualize this part from the programming let me try to open my visual code studio here it is your program heading 2 okay i hope you all can see it still we are not able to see the fonts let me try to keep the font size larger so that you can get the things easily yes now you can easily see what can my what can java script do it is under heading to paragraph java script can change uh, style of the element and here you can see button is there okay and uh, if we are going to okay this is something uh, something uh, this program is we are changing what we are changing the content and here we are changing the here we are changing the style not an issue we can do this not an issue so we can create a new program for this not an issue we can create a new program or what we can do just a second just create a new program let's say n e w dot htm and here i can write this program and let me try to run it so you can see that when i am going to run this uh, what java script can do java script can change html content when i am going to click content got change hello java script let me try to run it again java script can change html content click me when i am going to click the content got changed this is the thing this is this thing right i hope this part is clear what i am trying to say right and one more part is that java script can uh, also change java script can also change the 
uh, style of the sheet also. So how it is going to change the style of sheet? See here, what JavaScript can do? JavaScript can change the style of an element. So right now, this is the style. What can JavaScript do? And inside this paragraph, what we have written, we are going to change whatever is written inside that. We are calling it on click. We are creating a button tag whose type is button document dot which method we are using get element by id id name is demo that is this paragraph what is written inside this paragraph javascript can change the style of an html element so we are changing that particular paragraph by different style style dot font size is 35 pixel on clicking it so when we are going to run it so you can see that when i am going to click it the content style is changed right let me try to run it again here it is in a lower pixel when i am going to click here click me it is a button so style got changed it becomes 35 pixel right we are going to put here let's say 50 pixel so you can save it and you can see the output 50 pixel right this is the thing so this is how this is how uh, javascript basically do the things right and uh, next one is that uh, it can all we can also use it for showing the date and time and for that the program is here right so basically uh, heading inside heading we are writing head and time using javascript and uh, let me try to explain it in the ppt mode so that we can run it later on the visual code studio so basically if you are going to see here in, this is the heading part it is going to be seen in the headings and then button we are going to create one button and what is going to be happen when we are going to click on click it means that when we are going to click that button which method will apply get element by id this method will apply or over document which id will be called demo id will be called and we are using demo id in the paragraph no issue thereafter inner html inside html content we are changing and here we have assigned date like this date and then this right and this is closed inside button tag so when we are good in inside that button tag it should be look like this this is your button and inside this button click me to display date and time will be here like click me to display date and time it should be like that when we are going to click this button the date and time will be shown according to indian standard so basically what we are using the same thing is there create id this is the id create id demo demo is the name of id we are calling it inside button and what function we are performing date on inner html content method is get element by id right this is the thing on clicking so this is the function you need to use again and again, right? Okay, so just go to Visual Studio Code again. The same code is written, which I have explained and open with live server. You can see, click me to display date and time, click. So right now, 29 December, 36 GMT, 5.30 India standard, right? It is the time, as you can see clearly, right? This is the thing, right? So you can match the time here and you can match the time here, right? It is equal, right? So this, this purpose can be fulfilled using JavaScript. This kind of purpose can be fulfilled using Java, Java uh, script program. So it, I hope it is clear. You are getting each and everything clearly here, right? Now, one more thing is there that JavaScript can change HTML attribute value also. It is very interesting, guys. Everybody, please see it. Very, very interesting part. JavaScript can change HTML attribute. How? See, this is simple heading. You all know what JavaScript can do. Inside paragraph, we have written JavaScript can change HTML attribute values. This is simple paragraph. I think up to here, it is very easy. And we have already been discussed this so many times inside HTML and inside CSS and again and again, right? Now, in the one more paragraph, we have written in this case, JavaScript change the value of the source attribute of an image. So we are going to use particular image and that particular attribute of that image will be changed using some functions of JavaScript. How we are going to create a button and on click. It means that when we are going to click on that button, here we are using method get element by ID. 
same method we are using again and again get element by id at this time we are using id as a my image here id is my image and the image name is pick bulb pick bulb on dot gif this particular image this particular image and this pick bulb of this particular image we already have saved in our source code folder in our source code folder we already have these two images and what we are doing when we are going to click turn on light button this picture is going to be shown right whose uh, whose style width is 100 pixel and uh, source is pick bulb of dot gif and it is my image right now if we are going to click on click document dot get element by id my image source is pick bulb off and turn off the light so it depends when i am going to click on turn on the light at that time bulb on gif will be clicked when i am going to click on turn off the light at that time pick bulb off will be clicked right how we are using get element by id it is very important method inside uh, javascript get element by id right so let me try to execute it on visual studio code it would be much 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 better visible to you see here what can javascript do simple paragraph can change html values and uh, here in this case javascript will change the value of source picture source image source attribute of image what is source attribute of image here we have save one image with the name my name my, my image and this id we have created which we are using here my image and my image right and here the method is get element by id and we are going to call this id with the id name that is my image now two buttons are created here and here two buttons are created when we are going to click on the first button this image tick bulb on this image will be shown to you and when we are going to click on turn off the light this button will be shown to you similarly just uh, click here and just see turn on the light so you can see that is on we have set two gif in our folder at the particular position when you are going to turn off the light turn off the light basically the thing is that thing is that uh, you have to save that particular two images and we have already set that uh, its width would be 100 pixel its width would be 100 pixel when we are going to click that button bulb on will be there when we are going to click on turn off the light bulb of gif will be activated like this turn on the light turn off the light the source code is very simple and it is going to look like this normally on click action is there it is going to work on the method method is going to work on the particular id get element by id and whatever content we are going to write here that is nothing but this is the source image which we have already been saving our folder where all these programs are saved you also need to save all these pictures into the same same particular folder else it is not going to work and turn on the light this is the event this is the thing that you are going to see on the top of button see here this is the button turn on the light this is written on on the button right so again and again we are using this button text so i hope it should be clear to all of you now so these five programs up to here we have discussed and in next lectures we are going to cover many more one by one like this so if you are having any suggestions please do put in the comment section if you are enjoying the session guys do like the video and subscribe us for more such javascript free of course lectures if you really want to get complete pdf please comment and we are going to arrange some ways to send this pdf to all of you right so guys do subscribe like and enjoy the next sessions as well stay tuned with us thank you so much guys have a very nice day jai hind jai bharat